Okay, now let us start with the 19th question. This is a problem on motors and generators from electricity chapter. Definitely this will take a longer time. It won't take within one minute. Okay, let us do this. Right. A coil of a direct, okay, there's a dynamo given over here and uh, there's a north and the north-south pole over here, which means magnetic field is like this in this direction. Right? It's like this over here. It's like this. Right. I'll draw one more line also here. Right. And then the current is now passing through this. There's a split ring and it comes over here. Let us say the current is going like this. When the current is going like this and you have your magnetic field is like this. See, when the coil rotates like this over here, let us say the coil is somewhere over here. The coil is somewhere over here in this way. Even then you see the current is like this, magnetic field is like this, which means what? What is the angle between them? Angle between them is always 90 degrees, right? Angle 90 degrees. Now, current is same. Current is not changing. Why it is not changing? Because you see, it's a direct electric motor. Current is same. Current is same. I is equal to same. Magnetic field is also same. Then what about the length? Length of the wire is also same. Okay, which means uh, the force F is equal to IBL, IBL sin 90, which would always be a constant because it does not change over here. So the force is constant. Okay, now let us move on to the question. Which graph shows the variation with time of the force exited on section XY of the coil? Section XY, this is your XY, this line, right? Okay, let us look at the graph. So I said that the force is constant. Now you see here force is variable, force is variable. So C and D are definitely incorrect, right? Now let us look at, okay, what will happen to the A and B? Which of them is correct? So here B, the force is always constant. Let us say if it is phi Newton, for example, the force is always phi Newton, okay? It never becomes minus phi Newton. It always becomes plus phi. But here, let us say, for example, if this is phi Newton, this will become minus phi Newton here, right? The force alternates over here. So it once becomes positive, second time becomes negative. Now let us look at this. Now, when you have the magnetic field like this, you observe the force would be acting like this on top of it. Where is the force acting? The force is acting like this over here. So as a result of it, this gets lifted. When the coil is over here, the force is like this over here. Okay. When the coil is somewhere over here, when the force in the coil is somewhere over here, then the force is acting like this. Okay. So when the coil is somewhere over here like this, where is it? As for example, it is somewhere like over here like this. The force is acting like this. When the current is moving like this, see? The, the every time the current is moving like this over here, the force is acting here. Which means sometimes it is positive, sometimes it is negative. The direction of the force is alternating. It's changing while you observe the magnitude of the force always remains a constant. So therefore, which is the right answer? This will not be correct because the direction of the force is also constant. So this is the right answer. Okay, let us move on to the next question, which is the 20th. 